It's just happy coincidence wearing the same shirt. It's like a uniform. Twinsies! Skyrim! <laughs> totally not nerds. <laughs> well, we're big nerds. <laughs> so, despite the fact that we're wearing matching shirts, it wasn't planned. Planned. <laughs> we just like a lot of the same things. Mm. We are going to give you a quick e little tour of... An exclusive tour. <laughs> an exclusive and tour of our... Did you like MTV Cribs? But was it English Canal Cribs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's a show, MTV Cribs, where they show rich and famous people's houses and the, the rich person oh. takes a tour of the house. Well, we're not rich or famous. Not yet. <laughs> Watch this face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to give you an exclusive tour of the inside of our narrowboat. Our home. Our home, yes. So don't be too judgmental. Yeah. <laughs> it's not messy, it's just a little bit... Untidy at the moment? It's just bits and pieces that we haven't quite figured out where we're going to put them yet. Yeah. So Andrea Rose is a... 60-ish foot long boat. <laughs> Every report we've had says something different. Like the survey was 59 and a half foot. The paperwork says 58 foot. And we measured it and it's, it's about 60, 60 foot. foot. <laughs> so we just say 60 foot just to be on the safe side. Mm, she was built by Dragon Narrowboats, which who are no longer. Yeah, they used to be up near Wrexham, I believe. Wrexham. In Wales, but they're no longer in business. Yeah. Um, but the hull was built by na uh, Dragon Narrowboats, and she does have a dragon on the front, which was a large part of the reason why, why we bought her. <laughs> <laughs> she was built in 2005, was it? 2005, yeah. So she's not really that old in no. narrowboat standards. Uh, but she is reversed layout, which means kitchen is at the back, bedroom is at the front, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's go and show you our home. Okay, welcome to the restaurant. Well, what Maggie thinks of a restaurant, because I prepare the meals and then she just eats it. <laughs> That's what you're here for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is our kitchen. You'll recognise it from all our videos that we do, especially the cooking ones. It's quite a big one for uh, the for a narrow boat. It's a galley-style kitchen, which, coming from commercial kitchens, is one that I like working in. Because no matter where you are in the kitchen, you've got your work spaces and your cook spaces and your sink spaces all within arm's reach. We do want to change a few things in here, even though it is quite a nice big kitchen. One of the main things is we want to get rid of the stove top, the whole stove unit, and put a nice gas hob on top that is incorporated into the bench. And then just have drawers underneath, and then put an oven around chest height, about here, and make a big wall... A ceiling to floor unit with drawers underneath and a place at the top for the microwave and a nicer place to put my herbs and spices that would be nice <laughs> we don't have too much electrical electronics in the kitchen I mean we like the gas kettle the gas stove top I mean any chef will tell you they prefer a gas stove top it's much easier to control the temperature than electrics and you turn it on the heat's there instead of the gas uh, the electrics where you turn it on you have to wait 20 minutes one of my only little electrical <laughs> things that I like is my rice cooker, which Maggie hates. I want him to get rid of it. <laughs> it's my rice cooker! <laughs> you can cook rice without a rice cooker. I know, but I'm incredibly lazy and I just put the rice in and press the button and walk away. We can only use it if we're running the engine or if at the moment we're on shore power so we can use it when we're on shore power. Yeah. I have been looking into getting a small unit that's more electronic efficient but <laughs> they're quite expensive. It does draw a lot of power. Uh, washing machine? We've got a washing machine. Oh yeah, we've got a washing machine. <laughs> so good that we've got a washing machine. I mean, we tend not to use it a whole lot we do maybe one or two loads a week depending on how no, during winter we obviously use it less during summer we'll use it a lot more <laughs> being all sweaty and stuff but it's great having the washing machine mm. and we don't have to spend quite so much money on it's quite helpful because on our engine we've got a generator attached to the engine like another alternator and we just switch it to generator while we've got the engine running and we can run most 240 volt electronics without a problem doesn't really draw that much more fuel either. 
we tend to do quite well on fuel with, even with the generator running for a bit mm -hmm. and some boaters don't have a fridge but we do have one I um, hate it <laughs> I don't hate fridges on the boat, I just hate that one. <laughs> it It is uh, a bit leaky. It does leak. It's terribly inefficient. The thermostat's slowly dying on it, so if you put something at the back of the fridge, expect it to be frozen. Yes, it's but quite often. We've, um, <laughs> we've gone to make a meal and pulled out the meat or whatever and yeah. realised we can't actually make the meal because it's frozen. But a new one is about over 500 quid so we don't quite have that right now no no but that'll be a future project yes excellent next room yeah <laughs> excellent our lounge room which is also our study and gaming area um got this awesome desk from ikea got two shallow drawers and it's wide enough for us both to fit under it in our chairs uh, so we work from here and we have our television which Ryan fabulously mounted on the wall with a moving bracket so we can swivel it and watch in comfort and then press it away when we're not using it although it's not connected to television we only use it to watch Netflix and YouTube really but the plan is eventually we've got a kind of bookshelfy thing here which is full of junk <laughs> junk that we're keeping and need it but it's a bit messy but it know. wasn't designed for under the gunnels it just happened to fit perfectly when we shoved it there yeah <laughs> so we are going to build some sort of under gunnel storage and we're going to do the same use my pixel on this side and there's something to hide that mass of cables yeah when we got our aerial for the internet they gave us like 10 meters of cables despite the fact we only needed about three <laughs> so that goes up to our aerial which is outside and then this wall is our test wall for how the paint job interior is going to be like how, yeah so we're going to do all of the panels in white but we're going to leave all of the trimmings as wood so it will give it a nice effect we hope and um, we just got to get around to doing that <laughs> it's on the list and we've got our captain's chairs which are very comfy i usually i say the desk is there and that we work from there but i usually work from the chair because it's next to the fire because <laughs> it's next to the fire <laughs> and you get cold so the carpeting, uh, we recarpeted the boat ourselves um, because when we got it, it smelled like wet dog and it was carpet squares. So we ripped it all up and we ripped up the underlay. Underlay, thank you, I was going to say insulation, same thing. And we got all new underlay, all new carpet and Pixel, yes, I'm talking to you, Pixel decided that she was going to chew a hole in our carpet yesterday so we you probably can't even see it on the camera i think you can it's like a slightly raised bit because we've patched it with a spare bit of carpet yeah. <laughs> but i have to say our job's like, quite good we cut a perfect circle to replace where she ripped it and then glued it to what was left of on the don't eat there. it again no don't <laughs> eat the carpet that's not good a big fireplace here it's quite handy because you know when you're cleaning it out and you get dust everywhere you, it's easy to clean up yeah it is a nice fireplace we like the, the black tiles sparkly tiles behind it and it's a, quite a big stove as well which means it's perfect for putting our pot on when we're cooking our exactly what's it called stew, stew. and curries and whatnot we haven't carpeted the hallway, if you can tell. It's just a spare bit of carpet overlapping a bit of underlay that we temporarily put down there so the cold doesn't come through. Because eventually we are going to expand the bathroom. We from want it to be a yeah. walk-through bathroom. So we'll expand it across to cover the whole hallway there. So we figured we're not going to bother about carpeting it. We're just going to rip it up again. So.
this is the bathroom so we have a cassette toilet and it's a Thetford one of the more well-known brands and got our basin tiny little mirror some storage and then we've got our shower which is a bit small really for us but we're thinking of uh, changing it and completely redoing the bathroom <laughs> this is the master suite and it's at the front of the boat and just behind you guys <laughs> the camera is the doors out to the well deck but we don't really use them um, because we don't want to climb over our king size bed every time we want to go out there so we decided to keep our king size bed for quite a few reasons um, a we like our space and we like to be comfortable and a six by four foot bed is uh, not ideal because I would have one foot and Ryan would have three foot Lie is the opposite <laughs> so we managed to get somehow we managed to wrangle our king size bed onto the boat um, luckily the bed base is in two sort of single pieces and there is storage underneath so that was a double bonus so we put a lot of uh, sheets towels basic things underneath there hide them away and the quilt was made by my nana because she's amazing at quilting and it keeps us toasty and warm thank you nana So that's our home, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and if you have any questions just pop them down in the comments and we will try our best to answer them. Um, we don't know lots and lots about narrowboats but if they're Andrea Rose specific we can probably figure it out. <laughs> Thank you for watching and if you liked the video give it a like, Sub subscribe to our channel if you haven't already if you're enjoying our content. And we will see you on Sunday with a cooking video. Bye! Bye! She's got nuts! She's got nuts! <laughs> Go and kiss it! You shake that toy, Pixel. You shake it. Tired now. <laughs> you had enough? Yeah, climbing over the bed too much. <laughs> Carry me to the next room. <laughs> <laughs> no.